Water logging is an interesting challenge for us in the industry. We, we know how important water is to actually uh, produce our yields, but uh, one of the most complex stresses that we actually face as in production is actually too much water. Uh, so water logging is where the structure within the soil is saturated with water and there's no free oxygen available for the roots to access and that causes the roots to become impaired in their function. When the roots are impaired, we're not taking up water, we're not taking up nutrients, and then as a consequence, we actually get buildup of toxicity of uh, certain hormones in, in, the, in the plant itself, which lead, leads to some of the detrimental effects that we see. The other problem with waterlogging is it's not only affecting the plant, but it's actually affecting the health of the soil itself. That not only are we getting um, these toxins building up in the plants, we're getting toxins build up in the soil, but we're also actually uh, losing a lot of nutrients that we need to grow the crop subsequently to the, the waterlogging stress. There are certainly some degrees of symptoms that we, we witness in the case of waterlogging. Obviously the more severe scenarios are the very yellowing of the plant where the nitrogen's been impaired from being taken up. I've seen, it, seen many instances where we don't see the sort of traditional yellowing of the plant. Where you actually detect the symptoms in that case is often some moderate fruit loss um, and also on top of that uh, you actually get a, a slowing down in the node production occurring. Essentially the plant stopped growing. So it's very similar to our uh, water deficit type stress scenario. So the time frame where we can see effects of water logging can be relatively short. The irrigation for 12 hours provided the majority of roots are up out of the water, we haven't seen the effects of water logging. But if your roots are down in that water, you can probably have the effects after four or five hours. So what, what are the things that you can do to, to limit potential water logging? The main sort of management practices that I would be focusing on is essentially well-formed hills and furrows, good laser leveling, sure that you've got good flow of water through your field, and scheduling your irrigations timely, but also not actually running them any longer than you have to. If the forecast says it's going to have a considerable amount of rainfall and some cloudy weather going with that, uh, some research has shown that applying uh, iron and nitrogen foliar uh, prior to the waterlogging event can have some benefits. It will at least help you nurse you out of that um, waterlogging scenario. The application of those things whilst the plants are waterlogged and stressed has no effect. Um, the plants are essentially not functioning. The challenge of using these things is knowing at the day before that you're going to have these situations and putting the chemical on. Coming out of a waterlogging event, I think the key management is to, to look and nurture that root growth um, the best way you can to ensure that you get getting the growth to happen again. The things that you would need to take into account is the season length that you have uh, remaining and the nutrition that you require to actually manage that crop to the finish in terms of what yield you expect.